Hello, thank you for watching. This is Sarah. Welcome to my channel. Um, this is a uh, flip through review for the Dover coloring book Prehistoric Mammals by Jan Sovac. I've done several of these Dover coloring books and I, I have several more to do. Um, I just want to throw this out there for those of you who haven't seen my other videos with the Dover coloring books. Dover is a really good company. Um, for coloring books they have any topic you could ever imagine and their coloring books are not bad for the four dollars that they cost um, sometimes even less on Amazon and stuff um, anyway I just wanted to throw that out there I think that they're really well done and hold a lot of information and they're just fun to color something cheap that you can buy and and just have fun with maybe test out some of your techniques for coloring books and stuff um, Anyway, I just wanted to, to say that um, and also say that I am in no way, shape, or form part of the Dover Coloring Book family. I'm not a spokesperson. I'm not being paid by them to say these things. Um, that's just my opinion. So anyway, here goes the flip through. Um, eight and a half by 11 inches in size. Um, this is the front. Here is the back. It kind of gives some examples of the different pages that you'll get in the book. Um, the spine, it is glue bound. Um, here is the thickness of the book. Get that to focus for me real quick. It's not bad. One thing I have noticed with the Dover coloring books, if it is glue bound, it's somewhat difficult to open completely. Um, the spine kind of stays put. Um, it doesn't want to open up like it needs to. Um, to get in those creases but another thing I've noticed about the coloring books is that there really are not a whole lot of pages of course this book is going to prove me wrong that go clear to the crack um, if you can see if I can get this open here um, unlike some of the other coloring books that are out right now it does not go into the crack of the book which is really nice anyway the front page and the back page offer some examples of what you can color um, some of these pages like if you wish some nice examples there there is a publisher's note in the front and an alphabetical list of the mammals that you'll see in this book and the pages that they're on each page will have a little paragraph about the creatures, the animals in the page that you're looking at and where they were found, the colors, um, what kind of forested area they may have been in, things like that. So let me go ahead and do this flip through. I thought this book was just an interesting book. It had a lot of different things I hadn't seen in other coloring books. And I mean, it is a historic coloring book kind of thing, but um, it, it's still very fun to color. Um, very unique, very different than what you would find mainstream coloring books would have. The paper quality is a uh, printer paper regular copy paper, nothing special, no extra thickness or anything. Um, so they would be good for colored pencils, gel pens, crayons, um, anything like that. Definitely a good book to test out your techniques for coloring books.
Don't you guys see the upright page first and then I'll flip it? Some of these animals are so cute. Little baby elephants and they're just cute. I think. And that is the last page. So thank you for watching. As always, happy coloring. And I will see you another time. Thank you.